questions swirled around the behavior and connection of Virginia Grotto, a woman suspected in setting a fire that killed her husband and seven children. The Grotto fire had a troubled history. John Grotto served jail time for molesting his eight-year-old child. 44 years ago this month, News Channel 13's Richard Townley visited Grotto's new home shortly after the fire to ask her about her proclaimed innocence. The arson fire that killed eight members of the Grotto family has struck an emotional nerve in this community. The search for some answer to the question, who would do that? Who would set a fire that killed seven children? That has led to the wildest kind of speculation. And through it all, one person has been at the center of attention almost from the beginning. Virginia Grotto, the mother of the family, has been considered by many a prime suspect. And yet very little has been heard from her until now. This past weekend, photographer Vic Pimentel and I went to Washington State to interview her. And I asked her the questions that have been on the minds of many people since the day of the fire. How would you, how would you describe a person who would set fire to a house knowing that there might be children inside and that it might kill those children? How would you describe that kind of person? Sick. Really. Are you aware that's what some people believe you did? Uh, that's what I've been told. Did you set that fire? No, I did not. Do you have any idea who could have set that fire or would have? I have no idea. Was anyone else in that house that night that you know of between 10 o'clock and 11.30 besides yourself? John and the children. Nobody that I know. You told me before you loved John Grotto. Did you ever get to the point where you felt like killing him or think about it? No. Never. Really, never. Please understand the way I'm asking this. Some people believe that the crime you committed that night was not being burned up in the fire yourself. Did you ever wish you had been? Yes, I did. I, I felt my life was just had it. And like I said, my children were my life. And they always had been. Are you aware that people suspect you because you looked so calm the next day? I was under pretty much heavy sedation. It was the first time I, I had ever taken any kind of tranquilizer. I'd never took them before. I don't even like to take aspirin. And uh, the doctor gave me some medicine at the hospital, and they said, make sure I take it. So I took it that morning, and uh, I was really shaken up inside there. But I'm not one to cry in front of somebody. You look very calm right now. Right Is now? Is that the way you feel? No, I don't. <laughs> Not really. It bothers me to talk about it because even now I still dream about it and I go, I react, reenact the fire every so often and, and it, I wake up crying. And I noticed that when Norm lit up a cigarette you reacted very strongly to it. Do you just have you always just dislike smoking? No. John barely smoked really heavy. But it's, it's been bothering me lately. Just, I don't even like it when he uh, burns the garbage. It's the only way to you know, get rid of garbage around here. And sometimes I wake up during the night thinking I smell smoke, but I don't. Just, it's just since the fire. Have you ever thought did it ever pass your mind in the darkness of the night that the fire was in some way a blessing? After all, you started a new life. No, no way is it a blessing. Even though I have found someone else, I'm very glad that I have found him. But I wish I could turn it back where the fire never happened. I think the I think the thing that makes it so tough is that I'm either talking to a woman who set fire to her own children or to a woman who has really been abused badly. Well, I'll tell you something. I've really been abused badly. I never would do anything like that. 
I didn't even have matches around the house where the kids could read you. I just put them up because I was so afraid, you know, afraid of something the kids might get into. Do you think the police and Cohoes have a case against you? I have no idea what they have. I know I didn't do it. The Albany County Grand Jury continues to probe the question, who did it, if Virginia Gratto did not? Tomorrow, we look at the unanswered questions. Richard Townley, Newswatch 13. There were several questions remaining about Grotto's relationship with a certain taxi driver who had been accused in fires before. That part of the story tomorrow. Opening News Vault 13, I'm Rachel Teedy.